The ClickUp integration in High Level enables you to have seamless automations between your CRM workflows and ClickUp's project management system. Whether you're managing client delivery, tracking internal team projects, or ensuring tasks stay up to date, this integration connects High Level and ClickUp to seamlessly manage all of your workflows. My name is Andrew, and today we're going to be diving into triggers and actions that we can use with ClickUp within our high-level workflows. Now, before we get started, we need two things, our high-level and then, of course, our ClickUp workspace. Make sure you already have a ClickUp workspace set up before you do this so we can connect it to high-level. We're going to start connecting by going to settings at the bottom left-hand side, then navigating to integrations, and then scrolling down to the ClickUp integration, which you can see here. This is where we can connect our ClickUp workspace. We're then going to click connect, and then this will start the ClickUp integration process. Now you can either connect to your workspace in integrations directly, or you can do it within an automation. So if we go to our automation screen, and then we create a new one, we can look at all of our ClickUp triggers and actions. And whenever we are getting set up, which we can do by essentially looking up ClickUp, we'll see all of our triggers here. We can click this, and then it's going to also prompt us to connect if we haven't connected already in the integration screen. Now, when connecting your ClickUp, you will simply select the workspace that you're using and click Connect Workspace whenever it navigates you to the screen. And similarly, whenever we are in our automation looking at triggers and actions, whenever we click an action, it will check the connection. And if you are connected, then it will immediately proceed to the trigger or action itself. Now that we're connected, let's go over all the different triggers and actions that we can use with this integration, as well as some common use cases. So we currently have six ClickUp triggers. We currently have task changes, new time entry, new task, new list, new folder, and new comment on task. So when any of these things happen inside of ClickUp, then it will trigger our high level workflow. While I'm showing you some of these, let's build out a common use case. For this example, let's make a notification flow for new tasks whenever they are inside of ClickUp. So let's say whenever a new task is created inside of ClickUp, and then in this trigger, we will be able to select our workspace. Obviously we just have one selected. And then we can also add some other filters here. The only standard filter that we have for this ClickUp trigger is space. So that is the actual space that you are in within the workspace. It's like the subspace. But of course, you can also use different custom fields if these are contact specific. To keep things simple, let's just do new tasks in our workspace and click save. Then let's move on to our action. So if we search up actions and we look up ClickUp, we can see all of our different actions and we have lots of them. So let's go over each one. Our actions are as follows. Create new document, create new document page, archive tasks, add comment to tasks, find tasks by ID, find documents, custom fields, create lists, find tasks, create spaces, create folders, create tasks, add checklists to tasks, delete tasks, update tasks, and create subtasks. I've never said tasks so many times in my life. So with those 17 different actions, which ones are going to be the most valuable? Obviously, this is going to be very specific to your use case and what you're trying to do. But let's go ahead and build out our use case here. Since we're using a trigger of new task, we don't want to immediately do something else in ClickUp. What we actually want to do is utilize the other high level actions in order to make high level and ClickUp work together. So let me build out this use case for you. Again, we are reminding team members of new tasks that are being created and creating a sort of reminder sequence. So to make this really simple, let's do a wait timer for 24 hours or one day. We'll wait one day after a new task is created. And then after that, then we'll go back and click up. And rather than doing reminders through high level, we can actually do it through ClickUp by doing something simple like adding a comment to a task. So we can select our workspace with this add comment to task action. We can then select the space that we're in and then add our field options such as selecting the folder, selecting the list, so we can get really granular with this. Even if we can't get really granular with the task itself within the trigger, we can within a lot of our actions. So it's really easy to make very specific workflows for this. But what we're gonna do to keep this simple is we'll just put in our comment test, and then we will say, has anyone finished this yet? We can then also assign it to a group if we want to, and notify all members about this comment if we would like. Now, of course, you don't wanna do this for all tasks. So I said we can get more granular and we can do this with dynamic values. So we can either A, select the task from a dropdown here, and this works when a task is already existing, or we can use the three dots on the right-hand side to use dynamic variables in order to find the task. So let's say we have very specific tasks, like create a new website for a client, right? Each one of our tasks, if we set them up to have the same title or something similar, then we can set up our task title to look for website creation. And then if we're doing it for specifically for a client, we can include 
client name. This is when naming conventions can be really, really helpful, especially if you have standards and SOPs that people are following. So that way you can build functional automations that do stuff like this. Now you don't have to select things like folders because sometimes tasks aren't in folders or assignees or assigning comments. Once you have the task selected and then the space in the workspace, you'll be able to save that action and then it will be added in the workflow here. Now this is great, but let's do another use case. Let's go ahead and get rid of this trigger and get rid of these actions so we can start from scratch. What about whenever we are doing things in high level, we want to send out information to ClickUp. So for example, a form submission or an order submission, right? Let's say we have a form. So we'll use that form submitted workflow trigger. We'll add our filter to select what form it is. And let's say it's a workshop opt-in. Then we can use this trigger along with an action here inside of ClickUp let's say create a new task. This is probably gonna be one of the most used actions that you will use as a business owner because you can operate off of things in high level and then make tasks, manage tasks inside of ClickUp. So whenever we have a form submitted for a new opt-in, we'll make a new task in our workspace, we'll select the space, and then we'll give the task a name using our custom values from high level. So we will put in our name down here, we'll use a custom value for contact full name, and we will say, webinar follow-up. Let's say we have a team that needs to follow up with new webinar opt-ins, then that's what this workflow could kind of be used for. We can say, please reach out to the client in high level. We can designate if we want to turn on markdown content, we can add our priority. So we'll say this is urgent. We can add a start date, due date, group assignees, tags, time estimate value and time estimate minute. We can also notify all of our assignees and then we can also add sprint points. Now, all of these are optional except for the workspace, the space, the list, the name, and the description. Everything else, you don't really have to add anything, but we'd highly recommend that you do because it allows you to better manage your projects whenever you're using them within ClickUp. Once we're done, we can save our action and it's going to be there. We can set this to publish. And now this is just going to create those tasks whenever we get that form submission for those opt-ins within ClickUp. This is awesome because as a marketing agency owner, you need to be able to manage your projects from customers and internal projects, as well as have everyone notified in one place. And there's no better place to do that than ClickUp. And by tying in ClickUp with your CRM, you can now manage customer relationships and customer projects so much easier because you can run workflows off of payment triggers, form submissions, site views, replies, anything that you're using inside of high level, you can run workflows off of and then tie them back into ClickUp. And similarly, you can do it the other way too. You can have triggers from ClickUp that are launching things in high level to do things like send out documents or other things like that. So I really love this integration. I think this is going to be really useful for a lot of business owners. If you have any other questions, please refer to the help doc. As always, my name is Andrew and thank you very much for watching.